Hi everyone, hello and welcome to Happy Monday Dollar Tree Haul. I am back, we are here and we are together and I hope everybody has had a fantastic couple of days since I saw you last in Happy Saturday Dollar Tree Haul which was also Happy Merry Christmas Dollar Tree Haul and I was excited to spend some time with you on the actual day of Christmas. I hope everybody had a wonderful, wonderful day and everybody is ready to start the new year week and so I'm excited to be here with you guys. I thought I would have my new little friends from 50% off of clearance that I went shopping and um, to pick up for next year's elf themed Christmas that I'm going to do at my house which is also inspired by the Grinch Christmas so I'm gonna do a collective thing with elves and the Grinch and theme them together next year so that all of these little elves will be like little who's from Whoville in the Grinch land. So that's my theme for Christmas of 2022. I went out 50% off clearance shopping to pick up the things that I know will definitely not be there by the time we get to the 75% markdowns and certainly not the 90% markdowns. These little guys at my local Christmas tree shop will be cleared out while the 50% is going on. So I had to go and snatch them up right away. I did do a, a haul over on my crazy Callan Vlogs channel for you guys to show you the things that I did get to pick up on Sunday the 26th on the 50% off of Christmas clearance if you guys wanted to go check that out. But these are my new babies so I thought I'd put them in my background for my, you know, their debut for 2022 Christmas, and then I will pack them away until next Christmas season. So those are my little guests today, and I am so loving them in the background. It's still Christmas. It's still the holidays. We're still on our way to New Year's Eve, so I'm not quite ready to be completely done with it. I'm still going to be doing lots of crafting pertaining to Christmas and everything to get ready for next year. So I'm still hanging out with my little friends back here. Now that's it. Let's get right into the Dollar Tree haul for today because I have some pretty awesome things to show you guys and I am excited to get into it. So, oh my Lanta. I am so excited to have found these today, this morning. They are already putting out Valentine's Day stuff, which I am not mad about because I I am really looking forward to seeing what else the Dollar Tree is giving to us for all of these holidays that are coming up now. So this is the Be Mine pick and I absolutely think it's fantastic. It's a metal piece with a stake. I'm going to put it right outside in the front of my house in a garden and I am going to hang hearts from my windows around my house and decorate the outdoors for Valentine's Day. So here is this option right here. Then I picked up this pink truck with all of the hearts in the back. And right there it says, follow your heart along the truck. This is another stake. And the stake is this long. So I will be decorating with that as well. It did have a red truck option as well. But I really liked the pink one. Then I found this one, which is fantastic, I think, with the envelope with all the hearts coming out of it. It says Kisses 25 cents. I think it's really, really, really pretty. So there is that option. And then my favorite by far is the little camper. And it's all decked out for Valentine's Day. And it says Happy Valentine's Day right across it. So I absolutely, absolutely love this one the most. And the steak, it's just going to look so cute outside. So I found all of those picks today for my outdoor decorating and I am thoroughly excited. Then I found the little bubblegum machines and it's heart shaped. So I picked up the pink one. I loved, loved, loved the pink one. So they did have a red option as well, but I fancied the pink one the most. So I'm going to grab some gumballs. Um, I didn't find them this trip around. 
I'm going to find some gumballs and put them right in here and display this on my counter space once we hit Valentine's Day. So I grabbed that up. Then I also picked up a Valentine's Day chocolate bomb. And I am so excited. Apparently, they are going to make this a big thing and kind of do it throughout all of the holidays, hopefully, because we had the Christmas ch hot chocolate bombs. And now we've got the Valentine's Day one. And it does say Happy Valentine's Day right etched into the chocolate. This is the Palmer's brand. And the chocolatey hollow filled with mini marshmallows. And then you put it in the hot boiling little hot cocoa and that little chocolate ball will burst open and the marshmallows will float out to the top. We had a lot of fun with them over Thanksgiving and Christmas so I was excited to pick them up now for Valentine's Day and then let's go to the thumbnail. Um, Oh my goodness gracious. So these little wooden structures here are for Valentine's cards and I absolutely love them. They come with the little twine string to hang it and then I'm going to paint these little boxes and hang them on the wall. I'll probably put them in my background right here so that you know if we want to exchange valentines just let me know and I love sending valentine cards and you know little treats and stuff. So I will make these pretty, hang them in the background, and then as I receive cards, I will just stack them up in the boxes in the back. So this one says love, and I love the lettering to it. And there is the little, the little space. This one says be mine with the bumblebee. How cute is that? So there is this option right here. And then there is this one with the little gnome in the hearts. This one has got to be my favorite just because the gnome is so detailed and I absolutely love the three hearts on it. So here is this one as well. And then the little truck with the heart in the back. So all of those options right there, how cute are those? Get a pack, uh, one of the boxes of Valentine's and give it as a gift to a little kid to paint their little um, Valentine's receiving box and then fill out all of their Valentine's to their classmates and bring it in like that to the classroom to share. I think that that is so cute. So I absolutely love those. And then I found these and I thought that these were so cute to kind of just hang. Um, you know, I could hang it from the bathroom mirror and just have them dangle on the light fixtures. And this is just says decoration, but it comes with all of the beads there. And this one says be mine in the red, but they did have four other options, but they hadn't taken them out of the box yet. So I wasn't able to get all of them at the same time. I'm going to have to go back tomorrow and see if they have put them on the display this was the only one that was actually hung up, but the other ones, I think I read one that said hugs and I think I read another one that said true love. So I'm going to go back and try to snatch those up tomorrow so that hopefully I can show them to you on Wednesday. Um, I was so, so happy to find them. Then I found the treat bags and there's 20 pieces in here of treat bags with twist ties and Oh my gosh. Will you look at him? This says gnome, gnome body, gnome body like you. <laughs> How cute is that? And look at his little hunkalicious body. I just want to squeeze him. And the little kiss right on his nose. That is just absolutely adorable. And I was obsessed the minute I saw it. So a lot of hearts um, and hugs and kisses of chocolates. Fill this bag up, twist tie it, and give it for a little Valentine Day with a little card. I would love to receive it, especially in that packaging. Obsessed. Then I found this really amazing little set right here, which I've never seen them package it like this. Package it like this. This is a spatula and a cookie cutter. 
And so even if you wanted to gift a couple of packages of like cookie mix from the Dollar Tree uh, or brownie mix and then buy a set like this and put it in a basket together and make a whole little baking basket, that is so cute where the spatula comes with the heart shaped cookie cutter. So I absolutely thought that this was fantastic. I love that they came together and I love baking and it's so crazy because when I bake, I don't even eat it. I hand it out. I give it out. I love packaging it. I absolutely am obsessed with decorating it, but then I don't even touch them. I really don't. My favorite thing if I was to snack is like a salty snack and maybe once a month girls, if you know what I mean. I crave the chocolate. So, um, or if it's a hard day after work and you know that cause I talk about it after, all the time about me eating chocolate on the way home to make myself feel better. Um, but this, the cutest thing I've ever seen. So I was happy about that as well. I'm just trying to reach down. Oh, and then these, there's six pieces in here and these are heart straws and they come in all of these different colors. I always had the swirly straws when I was little. My mom used to pack them in my lunch boxes, especially over the holidays and stuff with all the twists and turns in the straws. And I just used to have fun, you know, drinking my juicy juice or my Yoohoo and watching the fluid go through all of the little twists and turns in the straw. So I've always loved these type of straws. And I think that this package of vibrant heart shaped straws are just absolutely adorable and I'm going to be looking pretty cute with my Valentine's Day little cup cruising down the street sipping out of my heart shaped straws in February. <laughs> so I love these so so much and then I can gift some of those straws away as well in like a little care package. Um, so, and then I found these and I did buy a pair for one of my girls here on YouTube that loves gnomes. So I bought myself a pair and I, then I bought another set to send in friend mail. This is crew socks and they're women six to 12. And then will you look at these gnomes on here? They almost match exactly to the little treat bags that I am obsessed with. So I think that these are the cutest ever holding a heart, you know, hugging a heart. They're, they're just adorable with their little kisses all over their face. They're just so sweet. So a pair of Valentine's Day socks. They did have several different, um, options already out, but those were definitely my favorite. So I wanted to grab them up and bring them home with me now for signs. Oh my goodness. Wait until you see these signs. Hold on, I'm trying not to like make a complete mess. Well, let's do the cards first and then we'll get into signs because the cards are um, smaller than me holding up all of these signs that I purchased. Okay, so the $1 cards that come in the packaging that are usually on like the cardboard stand away from where they actually have the card sections of the aisles, they usually situate the holiday cards on that cardboard stand and my stores anyways almost right when you go in the door and so I picked them up from there these are the one dollar cards not the 50 cent cards and this one says love you to the moon stars and back which I say something very similar to that often to the people that I love so I picked this up right there it has all the galaxies on it stars and the moon you open it up and it comes with a red envelope right inside of this plastic packaging. And um, it says, love you to the moon stars and back on Valentine's Day and every day. So I thought that that was absolutely adorable. Then I found this one and this one says, husband, you have the key to my heart. And that is what this one looks like right here. And I thought it was so pretty. And I'm, I'm honestly, I don't send these out. I don't give them to my husband. I don't send them out. I usually frame them and use them as decorative, you know, decorative pieces around my house to decorate. So happy Valentine's Day to the man I love with all of my heart. So that is this one. 
And all of these come with red envelopes inside of the packaging. This one is one of my favorites with all of the gummy bears on it. The colorful gummy bears. This says, love you very much. <laughs> very much. Love you very much. That is the cutest. So all the little gummy bears right there. I can't bear to be without you, Valentine. So that's this one right here. So totally, absolutely adorable. And then you know that I am obsessed with socks. So I had to pick it up. And this is so cute as well. We make a great pair, it says. And so it says we make a great pair. This one actually comes with a pink envelope, which is cool. It says you make my life wonderful. Happy Valentine's Day. And then the little socks on the back. So there is this card. And then this one, of course, it has the rainbow in the background. So you know, I absolutely love it. It says, I love you very much. So they use the same saying, but just a different background and decorative um, display of the bear. A hug from my, from my heart to yours. Happy Valentine's Day. It comes with the red envelope. So here is this one. Then we have this one, which is really vibrant and beautiful. You make my heart so happy. And that says, you know, everything that I say all the time. You make my heart so happy. I tell a lot of people that, that do make my heart so happy. And then inside it, it says, wishing you a day to know how loved you are. Happy Valentine's Day. And it comes with a pink envelope. So here is this one. Absolutely adorable. And then this one right here. It says, to my amazing husband, number one husband, you have it all. Handsome, check, thoughtful, check, strong, check, kind, check, smart, check. And I have to say my husband is all of those things. I'm very, um, I'm very honored to be his wife. He is a wonderful man. And then inside of it, it says everything, check. Thinking of every amazing thing about you, I am reminded just how lucky I am. Happy Valentine's Day. So that is very appropriate to give to my husband or to frame it and put it on his bedside. So I'm going to, might do that for Valentine's Day to decorate our space in our room. Then this one, I absolutely love the design on it. I am obsessed with vintage typewriters. I love them so, so much. And this is absolutely beautiful, I think. This says, a, a Valentine wish for someone special. Oh, in, in the typing here, it does say something. It says, hearts and hugs inside of the typing. So there is this. And then inside it says, wishing you love, laughter, and a lot of happiness on Valentine's Day and always. And it comes with the pink envelope. So there is that card right there. How beautiful are those cards for the holiday of Valentine's Day? I think that that is so amazing. So, so amazing. So let's get to these signs now, which I'm so excited to show you. Oh my gosh. So it says, I like you a lot. <laughs> I think that that is so cool that that says that. I like you a lot. How adorable. So I'll show it to you slow this way. I like you a lot. And I do. I sure do. I like you guys a lot. So how cute. How cute is that? Then I found this one. And I think everybody I'm pretty sure is going to love this one. Um, yes, this one says kissing booth, 25 cents. And it says, um, 25 cents per kiss. And it has the finger pointing to that direction. That is so, so cute. If I wanted to make like a kissing booth section in my house, oh my goodness, that I think would be absolutely adorable, adorable, adorable. You know how at Christmas time you have mistletoe? Well, I could make a whole kissing booth section that every time we pass through that area, 
like we have to peck each other or something, even if we're in a rush. So I think that that is just perfection right there. And then this one is like, whoa, baby glitter, but I still love it. Love it. Love it. I think it's adorable. It is a whole entire tree and it is glittered to the nines. Every inch of it has glitter on it. But how beautiful is that? And then the little owl right inside of the tree. So I think that that is just a really, really cool, cool piece to have the hearts all over the branches like leaves. So there's that one. Then we have this one, which is another one that I'm absolutely obsessed with. It has like pink wood look to the background. It says, love you always. And now, mind you, they did have, and I love it that it's circular also, but mind you, they did have several other options in all of these different signs. Like this one had like another four options, but I only chose the one that I wanted to decorate with out of the category of all the circular um, signs and the one that says, I like you a lot. They had a lot of long signs like that that had different sayings to it but the I like you a lot really stuck out to me it was something different that you know I haven't read on the Dollar Tree's you know things that they come out with for Valentine's Day it's a new saying it's a new concept of their signs so I picked the ones that were the most unique to me um but I I love this too I love you always it's just so simple and beautiful I love that it says it in like pink glitter here and then the red glitter there. And I just thought that that was just perfect. I loved it so much. And then let's see. And then last but not least for this Valentine's Day stuff, I did find this, which they came in a bunch of different options as well. Sorry, I can never get these to go the right way. Um, but I picked the one that had the black and white checkered background with the red X and O, but they did have, um, they did have a red and white checker background with black X and O. And I think they had another option as well with a pink and white checkered background and a red X and O. Um, but I definitely wanted the black and white background and I just thought that those were so cute just says simply XO on each one. And so I'm going to put those right up. I think that that is absolutely adorable. So those are my Valentine's Day finds. Ooh, I'm so excited. I love it so much. It's so unique. It's so different. It's so much fun. Love it. Obsessed with it. And so excited that I stumbled upon it. And they were just putting it out this morning. So I was like right there at the right time. And I was very, very happy. So that's what I found so far. Now it's almost New Year's Eve. So get your party supplies because um, the Dollar Tree, my Dollar Trees are still only a dollar. But if you go to Walmart and you pick up the sets and stuff for New Year's Eve, if you're a big New Year's Eve partier, it's going to get kind of costly. And after these glasses are like celebrated with, what are you really going to do with them? So why pay more than a dollar or even a dollar 25, honestly? And these are good structured glasses. And in a lot of those packages that you can pay a little bit more for, they only have the paper options with the, um, with the year on it to like put over your eyes. And I don't really like those because they don't stay on. So I always get the ones that are actually like structured like glasses. And this says 2022 on it. They had it in a silver and a gold option. So I got a couple of pairs of each of these. So that even though we are not party kind of people, we are homebodies that just stay home on the holidays, even New Year's Eve. We celebrate here and just have fun with each other. We play board games. We listen to music. For Christmas, my husband got me a karaoke machine. We had a lot of fun with it. So, like, we'll just do karaoke and we'll play around and just be goofy and fun at home. 
and we just enjoy it that way. We've always done it that way. I think I may have possibly gone out on New Year's Eve once and I was home before the ball dropped. Um, so I'm just kind of like, you know, I like to be in my own vibe during the holidays. If people want to join me, fine. If they don't, I'm cool with that too. So we do this at home style. And I wanted to pick up this garland right here to kind of just put around you know the house just decorate little spaces for new year's eve and these are kind of cool because it has all these little um, mask faces on it of different colors and it's shimmery and shiny and exciting and bright and fun to decorate for valentine's day so i picked this up then i picked up these little mini hats right here they do have elastic um, string on them but I can kind of just glue them to a couple of my headbands I don't mind uh, using and use them as little headband party hats on top of it so this one has five pieces in it but this did come in a variation of different color options they had blue they had green I think they had a purple option but I liked the really vibrant yellow one and those are just fun to kind of play around with, put on your head. Then I grabbed this mask right here because I'm just going to decorate with it. I'm not actually going to wear it. There's only one mask in here, but look at the detail to it. Like they really do a great job with the masks when they come out with like the Mardi Gras options. But again, they've put them out now, you know, for New Year's Eve. They always do this almost every year. So I picked up this blue one, but again, they come out with a bunch of different color options in this also with different colored flowers on it. But I picked up the blue one because it was different and um, it didn't go with anything. I didn't want anything to be matchy matchy. I just like all of the colors together. And so I'm going to set that out for a decoration probably around where I'm going to string that garland. Then we always do party blowers. We just have fun like at New Year's if we make it even until the ball drops and don't fall asleep first. But we always have party blowers laying around to like just, you know, goof around with and have fun. There's eight party, um, there's eight party blowouts here. So I picked these up to kind of just sprinkle on the table. I'm probably gonna you know we'll, we'll eat and have fun and play games just like we always do toot the horns just you know have a little fun with it so that's all the stuff that I picked up for New Year's Eve because I have so many other things that I can put out that I already own so I just picked up those few things to have on hand then I picked up okay where should we go next here I got some stuff guys I got some stuff I seriously did and I don't want to miss anything, but whatever we don't get to, I will make sure I show you on Wednesday. But anywho, I had to pick these up. Spring is almost here and these are going to be my most adorable little, little animal planters. And they've come out with a whole new line for the springtime. Um, and there's four options to this, but these are the two that I definitely wanted, which is a little deer. I absolutely love it. They have the succulents that, you know, are right in the floral stem section or in the crafter's square aisle that they offer that you can put in their little backs, the little faux succulents. And then the little um, squirrel right here. I love squirrels. I love deers. I love moose. I just love animals. So Dexter the deer and Skip the squirrel. How cute are those two options? I think that their animal planters are always so much fun to pick up. So I had to grab those. Now, okay, I picked up some clearance. And my friend here on YouTube um, that I talk to all over the place because she's just such a little doll muffin. And I love her so much. Um, her name is Caitlin. And she, you know, made sure she told me... Uh, it's going to be 50% off right after Christmas for the Christmas stuff. And I'm like, sometimes, some years, honestly, they pack the stuff away and they clearance out like the candy or something like that. That's holiday themed. But I went, I went 
and everything said 50% off and they had loads of stuff that they had yet to even bring out yet. So I picked up things today for 50% off that they were literally just putting on the floor for the first time um, that didn't even make it before Christmas. So I am going to show you the embellishments that I found. Well, these are stickers, but I'm going to use them as embellishments for like my scrapbooking and their window clings. But I absolutely loved this option right here. I love the Christmas tree, the bears, and they're kind of puffy stickers. The Santa Claus. Um, I absolutely love the sleigh, the penguins, and I'm obsessed with the deer here. So this whole entire package, I had never had a chance to pick up for 2021 Christmas, but now I have it for only 50 cents from the clearance. Same thing with this one. Oh, wait, I grabbed the same one. I got two different ones, but I don't know where the other one went. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, I grabbed it. Um, Yes, yes and yes. Look at this one. So the, the tag fell off of it, but this was 50 cents as well. The merriest season. Look at that Santa. He almost looks real. I love him so much. And then look at the sleigh. Look at Santa riding across the sky in the sleigh. He's wonderful. And then that tree there. How realistic and amazing does that tree look? So I got this whole entire set right here for 50 cents as well on Christmas clearance because I never got to pick it up when um, this, you know, the stuff was available for 2021 and now we're past that. Then I picked up these little uh, holiday shaped sugar cookie tins and they're also double as ornaments they come with a little string so that you can hang them but they have sugar cookies inside and they have four different ones uh, but I only picked up the two that I definitely wanted this one says oh snap with the little gingerbread man on it and here is where it says that it's holiday shaped sugar cookie tin so how cute let's open it up let's see what's happening in this thing Let's see what's happening. Wow, they taped that good. Oh, look at this. Look at that. To gift the little tin with that beautiful, beautiful star-shaped sugar cookie. Adorable. That is so cute. So here is this one right here. And then we have this one, Chilling with the Nomies. And it says Mary on the back of the little red truck with the gnomes in it. So this is another sugar cookie tin. Let's see if it's another star-shaped cookie inside or if it's different. Yep, it's another star-shaped cookie inside. So these are fun to pick up for 50 cents. It's like a double feature. It, you can keep the tin. You can use it for an ornament. You can use it for a gift box next year to put a, a gift card in it. You can eat the cookie and just have yourself a merry old day. <laughs> so there's that one. And then I have to find. Oh, yes, ma'am. Look at these. I wish that these books had come out for Christmas because I would have loved to pick these up to gift to the kids to for the drops and stuff that I did for... Um, for gifting all my for my donations the nutcracker these were 50 cents as well they just put them on the shelf just put them on the shelf to go away for 50 cents and look at these books how beautiful are these books absolutely absolutely gorgeous look at this page oh my gosh so there's the nutcracker here is the night before christmas right there i'll show you a couple of pages so here is this page absolutely beautiful books i cannot believe i got these for 50 cents yeah 
That's because these stores were struggling with no help all holiday season. Santa and his sleigh. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cover. So here's this page. And then let's see. And there is this page. I got to go back and find more of these. These will be so beautiful to gift next year. And to pick them up for 50 cents is craziness. A Christmas Carol. I love that movie. I love, love that movie. Love it. So there is this right here. And then let's see what else I can show you. And then this page right there. So four books, $2 because of 50% off. Then because next year I am doing an all elf themed Christmas with the Grinch. I picked up my two little friends right here. My two little elf buddies to join my other elf family back there. I picked up the little girl and the little boy and these plushies for 50 cents each. And I think that their little cuteness is absolutely divine and adorable. So I grabbed these two and I love them. Then I picked up more bags and I got the bike bags for 50 cents each, which are the really, really big gifting bags. And you know, I love that candy cane print. So I picked this up for 50 cents. That is going to be fantastic for gifting in. I picked up this one right here, which is the giant gift bag. And this is the 36 inch by 44 inch bag with all of these vibrant little pictures all over it. So I grabbed that one for 50 cents. And then this one with the same measurements for this giant gift bag. And again, it does come with the string for you to cinch the bag after you're done and want to close it up. So I picked up that one and then I picked up this one with the little gnomes all over it. So now I have all of these on hand for next year for 50 cents a piece. How amazing is that? So I'm excited to go back and see what else I can grab for 50 cents in the next couple of days before everything gets wiped off the shelves. And I still have more to show you, but honestly, we're going to wrap this up now because we're already at 37 minutes. I love you guys super duper much. I will see you on Happy Wednesday Dollar Tree Haul. I hope you enjoyed this haul. If you did, please like, share, subscribe, comment down below, and hit the bell notification so that you are informed every single time that I give you guys a new video to watch. And I love you so much, and I'm so excited to still be here with you for 2022, which is almost upon us. And thank you for almost ringing in the new year with me. And I can't wait to start a new chapter with you guys. I love you and I'll see you in a couple of days. Have a beautiful, happy, blessed, amazing, wonderful few days. And I'll see you then. Love you guys. Bye.